This is why you should just let the professionals do it and not do it yourself. I smashed one of my brand new 10.24 kilowatt hour batteries by trying to lift it up onto the wall mount bracket. Let me show you how I got here. Let's rewind the tape. But before we do, make sure you subscribe. I've got loads of content in the works about home battery storage, that solar, and loads more besides. Subscribe. Well, the first step was purchasing these batteries and it looked like Bimble Solar were the best value for money. They were very responsive to my inquiries and they weren't like a lot of other suppliers that were restricting themselves to just tradesmen and qualified electricians. They were happy to sell it directly to me. So we that meant we had to go over to East Sussex, across Hampshire, across West Sussex and down to East Sussex so we could go and pick these up from Bimble Solar. And yes, they probably thought I was slightly mad turning up in our MG5 estate car, but they were very helpful getting them in. We've got some special passengers in the back. Do you want to tell them where we are? We're at Bumble. Bumble Solar. <laughs> Bimble Solar. We're where we are. We're at Bimble Solar, yeah. <laughs> well done, you did a perfect plug for them. It's not a sponsored video, so hopefully they won't mind too much. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Now how on earth do you get 250 kilograms worth of batteries out of the boot of the car if you're by yourself, or mostly by yourself? Several people in the previous videos are telling me, don't buy a big battery, you won't be able to move it around. Well, it turns out you were right as always. Thank you, viewers. Ready? Steady? Go! Can we get there? No, we still need to go higher. Ready? Steady? Go! Happy? Yep. Okay. Oh. Don't think the back of the seat was meant to make that noise. Probably not designed for my weight. Okay. Yeah. As long as those wood beams aren't moving anywhere, then we're good. Yeah. Well, they are moving a bit, but. This is it now. Is that helping? Yeah. Okay, you can come out the other side now. Okay. Ready? Two, yep. three. That's it. Now we're good. I mean, I could hold it if you want. 96. 90. It does! Measure it precisely. It doesn't. It does! Right, keep can you come and move the car away and then we can measure it together? Move the car. Hands up. Right, where you see I? the key is right there? Yeah. I'm just taking it. Yeah, if you can just drive the car forward because I'm yeah, just haven't got enough room. Thank you very much. Perfect. Now hindsight being 2020, I would love to go back and give myself this advice, but this is one of the reasons that YouTube can be so brilliant. This can serve as a warning to anyone else who is installing these or buying these. Be careful. This is the moment of danger, okay? Although there's some rubber feet on the bottom, 
the glass can touch your tiles if your tiles aren't quite flat and even and it can shatter the glass. So a quick first glance of it out of the crate. This is a glass front, uh, scratch resistant glass on the front. It does sit on rubber feet at the moment. But of course this comes with that wall mounted bracket that you probably saw over there. We've got carrying handles on the side to make it simple to move around. Integrated Wi-Fi, you can screw an antenna into that and then daisy chaining for the can communications, power button, breaker, uh, dip switches for the configuration. It's probably out of focus terribly because of my GoPro. And then we've got some rubber covers on the battery terminals themselves and the earthing point. So that's the quick look at it. Let's move on to number two. Actually, I've got to shimmy this into its resting place over here. Oh, watching this back in the edit is like nails on a chalkboard. As if by magic, uh, somehow my camera cut out and I didn't realise. So what do you think? Is that the right size for that space? 10.24 kilowatt hours, 10.24 kilowatt hours. Good access to the terminals, etc. And ready to connect straight in to the SunSync inverter. And there sat my two new shiny batteries, 20 kilowatt hours of storage, ready to be wired in and mounted securely against the wall. This is part of the wall mounting bracket. My walls are just stud work, so it wasn't exactly suitable, but I needed a top tether. And that's when danger hit those ripple effect floor tiles just managed to pinch and chip and shatter the glass. I was devastated. So in this video, I've showed you what I've now got, how I got it. But in the next video, I wanna focus specifically on why I chose these batteries and why I didn't go with some of the alternatives. I know a lot of you were suspecting I would go with the Fogstar batteries, and there's quite a few reasons why I went for the these Dynest batteries instead. So stay tuned for the next video and I hope you don't feel as sad about me smashing the glass on this battery as I currently feel. Please, some comments of sympathy. I know there's going to be a lot of people saying it serves you right. Thank you for watching everyone. See you in the next video. I hope.